Have you ever seen two seven-year-olds go at it like that? No. Uh, look, um, I introduced this clip. I did my set. Yeah. I did a 20-minute set, and it was fun, maybe a little longer. Everybody was in a good mood. Great Cup day. You know, Princess Patricia's Piper singing God Save the Queen the whole nine yards, right? <laughs> Grey Cups marching in through and everything like that. And there's Angela Mosca sitting at the table in front of me with a leonine-sized skull. Listen, folks, they don't make a head that big anymore. They just don't, you know? It's, it's massive. It's like the size of a Macy's float. It's a massive head, right? So unbeknownst to me, he had extended his hand a couple yeah. times to Joe Cap. Now, uh, Angelo Mosca came from the ghetto in Boston, and Joe Cap was a Chicano cat from uh, the Barrio yeah. in New Mexico. Right. But they were holding a 50-year grudge from this controversial hit that uh, Angelo Mosca laid on the star running back for yeah. BC in 1963, George. I know. <laughs> 63, I mean, I introduced the clip from a day when the world was flat. <laughs> Brother, it was it was amazing, you know? So he was like, what's gonna come next? The Hindenburg? <laughs> so anyway, he comes up and he's got a sprig. Uh, he's got like a little uh, flower uh, from the, uh, looks like a piece of heather from one of the table settings, right? And I um, just <laughs> comically say to Cap, hey, it's a peace offering, is it? He looks at me and goes, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but he's got crazy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, remember when you'd go out drinking with a buddy and after three beers, it's like, oh, when did he show up? <laughs> <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so he's, got, he's got this break. And I'm just standing there like, you know, look, look, I'm the midget who jumped the fence to get in the circus. I'm just, I feel like a circus act, man. The only thing I'm missing are a couple of chihuahuas and a clown hat, you know? <laughs> so anyway, there's Angela Mosca, this behemoth, yeah. but he's got a cane. Yeah. He's not a kid. He's, but he's a, still a big man. I shook his hand, George, and it was like it was swallowed by another dimension. <laughs> it was like this amorphous piece of meat grabbed my hand and, whoa, right? So he's on the other side of the yeah. stage, and Cap is beside me. And uh, Cap, can I stand up? At, yeah. Okay. And so Cap starts flicking this uh, yeah. thing in front of Mosca's face. And I remember thinking, just in a split second, geez, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, and then this happens. And then it happens. Show the, uh, just show, show this. Here it is. Take a seat by Ansel. Maybe, uh, maybe you can relive the whole thing. Right. Is this showing your ass? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. There. There. Boom! Look! That, okay, yeah. and so in that... No, so no, then, no, it's just like... And then, what happens, we only saw it till it ended. What happened after that? Angelo falls. Yeah. And his head goes behind the curtain. <laughs> right? And people... His head goes behind the curtain, and the rest of his torso is on the stage. Yeah. And Joe goes up and puts two into his midsection. <laughs> just so he'll stay down. And then uh, Joe started... Um, making his, his speech about sportsmanship, which, you know. I don't know who was beaming down the messages from the mothership, yeah. brother. <laughs>